Right. Well, Robert, uh, one of the big issues for Democrats they've talked about is the threat to democracy. You raised some eyebrows yesterday when you were comparing the former president to the current president. You said in an interview that you believe that Joe Biden is a bigger threat to democracy than Donald Trump. This is what you have to say. Watch. When people talk about the threat to democracy that Trump poses, do you really think that that is, is, is an equal yeah, evil I mean, to Biden? I, I mean, listen, I can make the argument that President Biden is a much worse threat to democracy. Why did you say that? And, and by the way, I said I can make that argument, and I think it's an argument that we ought to be having. President, president Biden has done something that no other president in history has done, which is to order uh, media, particularly the social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Google, to censor his political opponents. And, I, you know, I can say this because I just won a lawsuit in the Federal Court of Appeals now before the Supreme Court um, because he began censoring me 37 hours after he took the oath of office swearing to defend the Constitution. White House officials were on uh, email with Facebook saying to them, you got to take down his post. Facebook actually pushed back and saying there, there's no misinformation here. This is actually what he's saying is accurate. And they had to make up a new term called malinformation, which is information that is accurate, but nonetheless inconvenient to, you know, politically inconvenient. So there's been no, the First Amendment was put in the Constitution. Madison Hamilton had it said, we put it free expression to guarantee the First Amendment, because all the other rights are dependent on it. If you have a president who can censor his political opponents, right. he is the license for any kind of atrocity. That is a genuine threat to our democracy. I think, you know, what President Trump said about, you know, about questioning the election and, and you know, in, to the extent that he engaged in, uh, in an effort to overthrow that, of course, that's a threat to democracy, but it is not the worst threat undermining the First Amendment of our Constitution and then weaponizing the federal agencies uh, to get his opponents yeah. off the ballot. You know, and, and in my case, I just say particularly, denying me Secret Service protection, that's never happened in history. You think he's behind that? Yeah. Why? Do you think Joe Biden is behind? The of course denial? he is. And does he know that your dad was assassinated? He has a bust of my father behind right. him at the Oval So how does he sleep at night? Well, I don't know, but it's not, it's just not right. You know, all of these, the use of the courts, the use of prosecutors, the use of all these federal agencies to change our political landscape is just is wrong and we should be debating about it. You know what? What President Biden did with his censorship project is he provided, he forced, he told the social media companies, we're going to withdraw, we're going to bring any trust case against you, and we're going to withdraw your Section 230 immunity, which is existential for those companies, if you don't give us a portal right. to censor. And then who did he give access to that portal? The CIA, the FBI, CISA the IRS, NIH, so you had all these federal agencies that were now right. able to silence people who were questioning their policies, and that is really anti-American and anti-democratic.